We're taking Charlie. Securing objective Bravo. Okay, let's see exactly what these Einsteins did here. They modified the controller aim assist properties to align with other sniper rifles. In other words, you don't have the hip fire aim assist or the rotational aim assist that's weaker. They increased incoming flinch, it looks like about uh, 33%. Yeah, that's exactly what it says. And they increased target flinch, so they're going to give us a bone there. Although, I don't know what good that does, because you're not talking about an LMG or an SMG or an AR. You got one shot. The flinch for the target needs to be when his head hits the ground. So they whinged a little bit here, tried to whine and explain. Uh, despite this weapon being a quick handling sniper rifle, it's not anymore. Built upon what is more conventionally assault rifle receiver, its lethality benefited too much from the aim assist. Well, that made it a rushing sniper, that's all it did. Typically reserved for full auto weapons and close range. Now that's not true. It's also reserved for marksman rifles. Additionally, we want to allow more counterplay against the longbow. They want you to be more vulnerable by increasing the amount of incoming flinch to compensate for its unrivaled speed and one-shot kill zones. Okay, we're going to pick out and pick apart that unrivaled speed and one-shot kill zones because you know what? The longbow isn't the fastest sniper, nor is it particularly unique in one-shot kill zones. Automatic, automatic weapons will have more of a fighting chance in close range encounters while not hampering the lethal aggressive play style core to its identity. By its, I assume they mean longbow, that's a pronoun that they've put somewhere to make the sentence confusing. But in any case, they want a, automatic weapons to have a fighting chance. Well, they do, because when you miss, you're dead. They've increased the flinch for the longbow, the receiving flinch, and uh, they have hampered the lethal aggressive playstyle because they've turned the longbow, as you'll see in a second, into just a common sniper. All right, let's dive deeper. Enemies taking Alpha. We're taking Charlie. Securing objective Bravo. All right, let's look at the parenthetical contention number one, which was despite this weapon being a quick handling sniper rifle, quick handling. So let's take a look and see exactly how this longbow now compares to the XRK Stalker, a more traditional sniper rifle. Turns out the XRK Stalker actually has a slightly faster movement speed than the longbow does. And when you look at crouch movement, it's exactly the same. Sprint to fire, very close. Tactical sprint speed within one tenth of a millisecond. And then also ADS movement speed, that's the mobility statistic that the longbow wins but you're not getting a second shot. As far as handling, the ADS speed is clearly a win for the XRK Stalker. Reload quickness, I consider that non-applicable, as is the empty reload. Sprint to fire speed, very, very close, as is swap speed. Again, I consider that non-applicable. I'm living or dying with that sniper rifle in my hand. And what about the second parenthetical contention? We want to allow more counterplay against the longbow by increasing the amount of incoming flinch, which they actually significantly did. But why did they do that? To compensate for its unrivaled speed 
We've already seen where the XRK Stalker is faster in movement speed and faster in aim down sight. Two important stats for a sniper. But also look at, at, at the one-shot kill zones. That's interesting because, again, we can compare the XRK with the Longbow. Longbow has a great one-shot kill zones if you're in the right range. And that is the headshot obviously the upper torso and even the lower torso but if you look at the xrk stalker exactly the same one shot kill zones the head upper and lower torsos so the longbow isn't unrivaled at one shot kill zones no need for a nerf there and what about range well, when you compare the longbow to the xrk as we've done this entire video you'll see that the xrk absolutely destroys the longbow when it comes to range and bullet velocity what about the fire rate rate of fire i'm going to call it a draw because i don't believe the 111.1 .1 rate of fire for the longbow and besides it's, <clears throat> it's not significantly different from 75 rounds per minute the rechamber time okay you win longbow 957 milliseconds meaning you die four times in the time it takes to rechamber around the longbow is no longer the in-your-face rushing weapon that activision claims that it is that's just wrong so what are my thoughts well first of all i think this whole nerf is a bit of a crime scene. The inception is questionable. Is it because of creators, YouTube creators, crying, clutching their pearls about the longbow? I mean, they've crossed a fine line if it is, and I admire a lot of these guys. They've been very, very successful. But you cross a fine line when you try to be a gatekeeper of the game against the community rather than somebody for the community. I think the words should be nerfed, should be buffed, should never leave their mouths. They should either say it's strong or it's weak and let the developers decide. They're not the gatekeepers and they're not skill snobs. I mean, one of them said, well, at least now the longbow will take skill. Well, guess what? The longbow, I think, <clears throat> provided a great, excuse me, provided a great segue for people who wanted to learn to snipe, to get comfortable with sniping. It was an excellent weapon for that. And I think the premise is erroneous. The longbow is not the fastest sniper in movement speed or ADS. And it's not uniquely powerful for its one-shot kill zones because other snipers have the same kill zones for one shot. My thoughts in summary are that, yeah, I'm still going to use the longbow. It's not completely dead, although I think they did bury its unique utility. I'm not going to cry in my pillow over it. I'm a fighter pilot. We don't cry. Now, we may shed a tear when the American flag is raised at a sporting event or when our daughter walks down the aisle to become married. But the key word is might. We might shed a tear. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Cheers and peace.